It's how should Christians think about artificial intelligence? Should we be hesitant to embrace attempts to replicate human cognitive functions in machines? Well, yes. Uh, you know, one of the scariest things we have going on here is that the technology of what's called artificial intelligence is, is fast outstripping any boundaries, any set of rules, any kind of moral expectation. So even the folks in Silicon Valley who, by the way, are investing untold billions of dollars right now in artificial intelligence because they see it as the wave of the future, even they honestly have no idea where this is going to take us. There are a couple of very clear problems here. One of them is the attempt to create something that's a hybrid of human and artificial intelligence. And, and by the way, any artificial intelligence is not going to be totally artificial because it's going to be inexplicable apart from a human being or a team of human beings who brought it about. Which, by the way, goes right back to the Christian argument uh, the, uh, about the origin of the universe. It's, uh, in other words, intelligent design uh, and creation applies not only uh, to, uh, to human beings creating artificial intelligence and AI being inexplicable apart from human intelligence, but of course you can work backwards from that to the creator as well. But I'm talking about a biological technological hybrid because that, as far out as it might sound, is actually where a lot of investment's going right now. You know, the possibility of somehow merging uh, the uh, human biological and, uh, and otherwise machine intelligence. The other thing to watch is an artificial intelligence that's out of control. And here's where many of the people who are putting the most money into it recognize they know what they're beginning, they don't really know what the conclusion might be. And you can think back to the movie 2001, A Space Odyssey, and, uh, and remember the threat of a computer that becomes more intelligent than a human being. Now, by the way, I don't worry about any machine becoming truly more intelligent than a human being, because our intelligence is not merely a machine intelligence, it's not merely uh, algorithms and analytics, it's emotions and, uh, well, it's spiritually defined, uh, being made in the image of God. But there are forms of intelligence which, if artificial and if out of control, could be incredibly damaging. Just consider how damaging right now a, uh, a virus is in terms of, uh, of, of the total ecology of software and computer processing. Just imagine if that turns openly hostile. Now, I don't mean morally hostile. I'm not worried about uh, you really can't imply morality in this, such as, you know, artificial intelligence that turns uh, evil. It would be uh, artificial intelligence that becomes nothing more than a malevolent force, uh, which is set loose and, uh, frankly, can't be controlled. So, yeah, there's some huge, huge issues here. The last thing I want to say about this is that one of the most dangerous aspects is the blurring of the distinctiveness of humanity. So in the last, say, month, there have been three major books published, one of them by Roger Scruton, the philosopher, uh, just dealing with the fact that, uh, that it's becoming more difficult in material terms to explain and to define human uniqueness. That's not good for humanity. This is what many have warned about throughout the, uh, the 20th century in particular, and just points to the, to the danger that is, uh, that is lurking behind this kind of artificial intelligence. Not to mention the fact that uh, at this point, certainly I'm not willing to ride in any car that is, is merely driven by artificial intelligence.